and we're going to share it right now. The Wi Fi here is actually, make sure you get my, my nose hair in there. It's very important to me. I'm not growing these for nothing. Yeah. I better hear Robinson speak battle royale my own. Doki Doki Panic Literature Club? Yeah, that's the whole thing. Doki Doki originalist. Wars? Never when Bob Bombs came in, Shy Guys came in, Wars they totally ignored. Or, 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 yeah, is there? Mouser's got a little bit. What was Mouser? Mouser was like, he's the very first boss you see. Yeah. Uh, he's like the Jedi uh, Simpsons dog character. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually in Pride Flag. 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 I was literally just like, literally, what is in my back pocket, but it was bulging. And it was a child of sake. Careful, the audience is coming. Careful, watch out! Right, so I just love the end of these sake is an over streaker. That's actually like the star spot for you. Yeah. I'm gonna have like very pronounced, like fish like features. So just, just so you guys remember, there's two slides before you introduce me. Yep. Yes. Well, I'm just well, gonna start talking. I mean, you can butt in whatever. <laughs> the only <laughs> you're gonna make this crap up here. The only true Mario game is Bubsy 3D. <laughs> Done. We <laughs> settled it. <laughs> is that the one where he makes out with a human woman? So that's, uh, Dana Gould is the uh, canon voice of Mario. Where it's, it's whatever it's it's not, he's like a change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Here's a real question though. Which of the Mario games would you consider to be the Dark Souls of the Mario franchise? Ooh. <laughs> what is the Dark Souls? Well, Mario Maker then, right? That's actually a question I should ask. Because. Lost yeah. Well, I guess Lost Levels too. Yeah. Yeah. But like Mario Maker is also core now, right? So. I would like mainly like the popular game. I would say that Mario Maker is the actually the would somebody mind opening facebook.com slash venture beat and see if that's actually looking good? Yeah, I might click on this, this link. Go click on this link. Smash that link button. Smash this hypertext. Oh, dumb. Transfer protocol. Somebody launch up my angel fire page. Yeah. <laughs> Just a big bug. But here's a big uh, Yeah, we got 12 viewers now. Yeah, 16 quarters. Thank you for continuing to speak as I was walking right by the speaker, by the way. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Who's we'll getting blasted with sound waves? Right next to it. I feel like we should beat Fox and Mario. What's going on, Chihuahua? It's going to be Oh, they're leaving. They're leaving. Yeah. Yeah, just like, this is what love looks like. This is what family looks like. This is how nobody's going to be able to go in the front room. That's okay. Don't go to <laughs> Nobody knows. Selfie guys. I'm alone. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Kyle just like, yeah. Kyle's staring into the distance yeah. in his destiny. He's our dream. Look at these people coming in. I'm actually, at some point, we should ask who was here for the objectively the best Mario fan. I want to see if we get any, yeah, we get any repeat viewers. We're back. Do we want to say which one's our favorite Mario? Or, 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 or the one, yeah. I don't even know if we're flying. I guess that's all right. I'm ready. Let's launch it. All right, hello, early risers. How are you doing today? Thank you. 
thank you for coming out to what one person on this stage has already called a shit post of a Mario panel. It is what makes a core Mario game, settling the debate. And to start things off, we'll go with a show of hands. Uh, raise your hand if you have a definition in your head of what makes a core Mario game. Okay, pretty much everyone. Uh, raise your hand if you think your definition is so obvious that no one could possibly disagree. <laughs> a few people, pretty sure of yourself. Okay, now raise your hand if you think Yoshi's Island is a core Mario game. Too many hands. <laughs> Splitting the audience, so some people disagree with you. So that is part of the problem. There are 200 plus games with Mario in the title, and a lot more if you count ones where Mario just appears. Uh, some of them playable, some of them not. Uh, you also have the Yoshi, Wario, and Donkey Kong <laughs> spin-offs, which you know, some maximalists would say count as Mario games, but that's uh, we'll get into that. Um, and obviously there's a line somewhere between Super Mario Bros., which I think everyone agrees is a core Mario game, and Mario's Picross, which is the core Mario game. <laughs> <laughs> but where is that line? Um, so we started talking about this on Twitter a while back, uh, back in September, I guess. Uh, Max Parker, who is uh, with the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, uh, put out this innocuous tweet, how do you define the core Mario series? I don't think of 3D Land and World as core, but can't rightly define why that is. And Max was not able to be here today, so we can all laugh at how, so we can all laugh at how wrong he was. <laughs> then it got weird. It got really weird. Uh, he, he tagged me in on this uh, very politely, just where do you stand? And uh, 44 tweets later, uh, we were getting into very touchy uh, areas. Uh, I have criteria that could be applied to future Mario games. You have personal feelings that are applied ad hoc to every game solo. It's just like a religion versus science debate developing here, which is way too serious. Um, so with uh, that in mind, let's introduce ourselves. Uh, I'm Kyle Orland. I'm the senior gaming editor for Ars Technica. And back when I was 14, I ran a website called Super Mario Brothers Headquarters. Pause for appreciative applause. <laughs> that was a joke. Okay, and uh, going to my left, starting with uh, Jeff. Hey, I'm Jeff Grubb. I uh, write for VentureBeat.com's GameSpeeds. Uh, I'm the PC gaming editor, but also uh, I'm the number one Mario boy, so that's why I'm here. And uh, let's go with, what's your favorite Mario game? Um, Super Mario Brothers, the original, actually. Controversial pick. I think so. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, and we got Anthony. Uh, I am Anthony John Agnello. I am the head of social media at VentureBeat, the host of the Continue podcast, and a writer at the AV Club. And when I was five years old, in kindergarten, I wrote a book called My Nintendo Friends that was about me and Kid Icarus and Link excluding Mario on the playground. <laughs> Just dissed. Who published that book? Is it still in print? Uh, Mrs. Salucci of Fabius Pompey, and she was like, I'm not laminating this. I was like, yes, you are. You're laminating this. We're preserved. Simon and Schuster did the second run. Yes. yes. We have the inspiration for Wario here, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up for you. And then uh, we have Gene Park. Hi, my name is Gene. I am a social media editor for the Washington Post. That's how you know this panel is so serious. Very serious, like darkness serious. Um, I also am the voice of the Washington Post on Reddit. Uh, if you guys uh, hang out on Reddit a lot, uh, I'm, I am there. Uh, yeah, Reddit! <laughs> I'm there shitposting, so. And I'm here because I got, I agreed with Max that I didn't think that core, the world on that were core. And I got dragged into this, so flew all the way here from the belt plate. Thanks, guys. Yes, every, every, all these three are here because they made the foolish mistake of getting drawn into this Twitter thread of ridiculous debate. And then they made the even more foolish mistake of agreeing to be on this panel. So uh, thank you guys for coming. And uh, I think the best part of this panel is that we convinced the Washington Post to uh, expend some travel budget. That is already a good news. So we had this long Twitter debate, and I was like, what can settle this? Let's ask the internet. I put up this uh, Twitter uh, poll through uh, Google Forms. Help us figure out what counts as a core Mario game with this two-minute poll. It's basically a bunch of checkboxes listing every Mario game that I thought conceivably could be considered a core Mario game. I think I didn't list like Mario's Pinball Land, and someone was mad about that. <laughs> I wanted to just use Mario's Pinball Land. So um, I, there were like dozens and dozens of games on there, and um, we got about 2,000 votes. Uh, now, I realize this isn't a scientific poll, this is people who follow me on Twitter and follow the retweets and everything, but it gave us a pretty good idea. And uh, we also had a thing at the end where we allowed people to leave notes, which gave us pretty good insight onto what people think of when they think of the word core Mario game. So, 
what do we mean by core? Uh, in the dictionary, it's a simple definition, the central, innermost, or most essential part of anything. Another definition of central importance, basic, fundamental. Uh, guys, do you think this is enough to narrow down what core Mario games are? Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I, Does this help you at all? No. It, like, it, 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 absolutely not in any way, shape, or form. Has any argument ever been handled well by going, well, according to Webster's? Webster's, <laughs> Webster's defines yeah. core Mario as, no, and, and this is, is yeah, and what really fueled the entire debate was that there were things that you could agree were central to what people think of as, like, the, the core Mario series. Even Nintendo now has their official hierarchy that they released just before Super Mario Odyssey came out. I'm not sure if you we'll, have we'll, that. We'll, we'll get, get to that. But, Spoilers. Like, yes. Yeah, even when you get into that, you're like, wait a second, that doesn't make any sense. Your internal logic from the creators doesn't work. So. Nintendo doesn't it's, know what they're talking about. They've said before that. Yeah. 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 All right, so that's no help. Um, for the poll, I just told uh, people, use whatever edition of core Mario game you personally use. And uh, that led to a lot of different definitions, turns out. So uh, the most popular one is probably the simple definition I'm calling it. And that was of the form, like a pretty simple platform game starring Mario. So audience, you think that's a good way to narrow it down? You'll be, you'll be surprised how much uh, there's this. To me, a core Mario game is simply a platformer where Mario is the playable character. Core Mario games are platformers. Everything else are not part of the core series. And uh, Polygon, uh, Jeremy Parrish, when he recently did a ranking, uh, put it in their subhead. If it stars Mario and involves platforming, it's in here. So, panel, what do you think about this simple definition? Yeah, I, I, that is what I lean to. It's, do, it's not just... Are you playing as Mario, jumping over things, and trying to attain a goal of some kind? Whether that's a star, whether that's the flag at the end of the stage, whether that's a secret exit with a key. But that is enough or that's not enough? It's, it's, it's not enough, because in Yoshi's Island, you do control Mario, albeit briefly. You have to control so Mario. Mario game. You, have to, you have to control <laughs> Mario for the duration of the game, for like the, the bulk of this game. You can be Mario or one of his three. It's right there on your back. Yeah, one of his three intimates. I, you're not controlling him. Though. He is a burden on Yoshi's back, <laughs> wailing into the sky as he's released into his bubble. I, I think the more interesting conductor there is uh, Donkey Kong from the Game Boy, 1994's Donkey Kong, because mm. he plays Mario the whole time. It's basically a platform, it's a puzzle platform, but it's still a platform. Super Game Boy one, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like, that's the one where I'm like, oh no. Because I'm like, oh, it's just a platformer star in Mario. And then someone reminded me of Donkey Kong 94, which I love. I love that game. And I'm like, okay, wait, I don't know if that was a core Mario. And, I, okay. and Mario's not in the title. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I, and that's, yeah, was thinking. Yeah, exactly. I think that's where I'm like, oh, so I'll just say it because he's also in the title. And I'm like, God, that seems kind of cheap. Mm. Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong 94. Core Mario. Well, I, I, I was the dissenting opinion that I don't think 3D Land or 3D World were core. And the reason why is because I put Mario on a pedestal where he belongs, right? And a core Mario game like helps like move the series forward and it introduces like new new ideas. Like it's like a centerpiece, you know. I'm getting so much data ready. Uh, but like you know, like Mario Galaxy, like like pushed it forward. Mario Galaxy 2 is a sequel, so it makes sense that, that it's still a core Mario game. 3D land and 3D world were like 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 step backs. They were just like focused like experiences and they were on uh, systems, well, they were, they, it, was, it was on 3DS, which I didn't think, consider the handheld games core either, which I'm wrong, apparently, too. Down uh, low. Yeah. Yeah, there's the question of whether quality or inventiveness come into this as well. Is it, is it something you can find purely based on gameplay, or is it the impact of the game that really makes it a core? And we'll, we'll get back to that in a little bit. Um, we'll get to the results of the poll I mentioned uh, earlier, a little later, too, but I'll go through Polygon's uh, definition, ranking from 18 to 1, the best core Super Mario games, and you can fight, figure out which ones he left out. Uh, 18, The Lost Levels. 17, New Super Mario Bros. DS. 16, Super Mario Sunshine. 15, Super Mario Land. 14, New Super Mario Bros. 2, way too high. 13, Super Mario Bros. 2, uh, the US version. 12, Super Mario Land. 11, Super Mario City. Wait, Kyle, I would, before you get to the top 10, have all you guys seen this list before? I want to prepare the audience just a little bit. I'm not going to spoil anything. Have you guys you seen, seen this list? this list? Prepare to be trolled. Okay, just brace yourself. Yeah, yeah. Trigger okay. warning. Yes, trigger warning. Number right. 10, New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Number 9, Super Mario 3D Land. 
Number eight, Super Mario Brothers 1. Seven, Super Mario Galaxy. Six, Super Mario World. Six. Six. <laughs> Five, Super Mario 3D World. Four, Super Mario Galaxy. Three, Super Mario... Oh, Super Mario Galaxy 2, I'm sorry. Three, Super Mario Odyssey. Which is kind of... Two, Super Mario Brothers 3. Second. One, what have we left out? 64. Now 64 was back at 11. What? 11. Oh, right. Exactly. Right. 64 was 11. You might have gotten ground. Ah, lose. I love it. Now, number one is New Super Mario Brothers U. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy, I've been watching that moment alone. Oh my god. Sick. I, I read that this and it was like a new experience for me. Like, like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so sorry. So, cool. Jesus, oh. so even if those are all core Mario games, um, Yoshi's Island not on there. But uh, it's a pretty good list. I would, if, if, uh, irrespective of the order, I think that's a good list of things that a lot of us can agree on. We'll see when it gets to the poll. But um, yeah, going back to what the heck is a platformer? You, you mentioned uh, Donkey Kong 94 already, but uh, the original Donkey Kong and Mario Brothers, you're jumping on platforms, but are those really platformers? Those are games where you're really going for a high score until you die. There's no ending unless you get to a kill screen. I Donkey Kong 94 had an ending. What's that? Donkey Kong 94 had it, I think. Donkey Kong 94 did, but the original arcade games, would you count those as core Mario games? Uh, actually, that was Jumpman and not Mario. Oh, oh this! Oh. Yeah. One, one of those guys. Yeah, no, those are, I, I honest, I absolutely count Mario Brothers and Donkey Kong as core Mario games. They establish the character, they establish the way he's supposed to behave in a platforming world, even before Super Mario Bros. Like, it's funny, Gene, you were talking about how 3D Land and 3D World are, like, they don't count because they're not innovative enough. They're very sort of staid in their presentation of old ideas. Super Mario Brothers is saying, like, oh, well, we know he can run and jump, and he can get a superpower. Like, there is precedent for the Fire Flower and the Super Mushroom through the hammer, through the hammer and the Pow Block in Mario Brothers. So, like, even Super Mario Brothers is iterative. It's just, like, a slight step forward that just happened to be one of the most... Going, left, go, going left to right was not iterative. Yeah, that's true. So introducing scrolling. Going left to right changed the game. Did a Mario game have to scroll, is the question. Game like, game like Mario Clash. It's a side-scroller, yeah. You know, I didn't leave it on here, but Mario Clash on yeah. Virtual Boy. Here you run, you run. There's not really platforms, yeah. I guess, but it's like Mario Brothers. I don't think many people would... Call it a core Mario game? Though? I haven't not played it, so it's not a core Mario game. <laughs> you haven't play, if you haven't played it, it's not a core Mario yeah, game. Mario, That's Mario, good. Mario Clash is basically a remake of Mario Brothers, so I would include it. I would count it. And it's <laughs> like so messy, I feel like we gotta, we gotta start narrowing it down. We're what, just getting broader. What's the got, Hudson the PC88 remake? Of make? Super oh, Mario Brothers Special? Super Mario Brothers Special, not scrolling. It's screen by screen. Yes, that's true. still counts, but it's multiple screens. It's yes, yeah, it's multiple. Just like Mario it's Hotel in there while you're at it. Jesus, no jumping. Okay. I think we've I think we've set up from maximalist to minimalist over here, so you can judge yes, who your yeah, favorite kind of is as we go. Um, Wrecking Crew, another one. It's you're on platforms, but there's no jumping. No jumping. That, so I think jumping is kind of a core part of the Mario experience. I think most people would agree. Mario is missing. Is there is jumping, but there's there's like a lot of education in there. There, there was no platforms, no learning like Mario games. Yeah, just that's running right. like museums. No, no, no. There were uh, intersections. How about Mario. Hotel Mario? Though? That's a little bit no jump. Luigi. No jumping again. No jumping. Mario is missing. Is also Luigi, which is a big. Yeah. It's also like, like Mario Hotel Mario. Like, I, what is even happening? He's, <laughs> there's like Scooby Doo logic. He goes in one door, comes out on another floor. Like, that's not platforming. That's just Boring. <laughs> make any sense. I think even if Hotel Mario had everything that you need in a Mario game, I, I think I might go with Gene in that it had zero impact, and you could not really call it a core Mario game just because it was up. Who played, who played Hotel Mario on the original hardware around when it came out? That's right, no one. I did. <laughs> oh, Gene. So is it a core Mario game? No. No. <laughs> even though you played it. Yeah. Um, Super Paper Mario is one a lot of people uh, forget about. It's, this is part of the like, Paper Mario series, but it's more a run and jump game instead of an RPG. It has things like uh, experience points and uh, consumable items, but you're, you're running and jumping the whole time. You don't pause to go into like turn-based battles. Is this a core Mario game? It's not in pursuit of a goal of some kind. It's just an open-ended adventure. But there is an ending. You're there, to the there, there is, there is technically a, 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 a close. You beat right? levels named like one, two. 
So I, I, the thing that I like about you know, in my dumb, completely arbitrary <laughs> definition of a core Mario game is that it's a series of discrete goals. So Super Paper Mario, you'll go into a, you know, platforming area where you sort of lazily jump over a few things. It's very slow, it's very ponderous, and you'll get to one end, you can do it in 3D and on a 2D plane, but then you have to go back through it. You just sort of, uh, they're, they're, the platforming areas are spaces that you just sort of go through and then go back through. They're backtracking areas, not so much challenges in them. You did that in Mario Odyssey. Yeah, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, yeah. and you are similar. That's true. That's true, although there are discrete challenges within those places. Yeah. You know, when you're in Super Paper Mario, sure. it's just like, go through this really boring area where you can jump over one thing, and then at the end of it, there's going to be an iguana who makes one of the things you like. I like how you put really boring in there. That, that could affect the core. Yeah. yeah. If it's really boring, it can't be a core Mario. <laughs> That's one way of thinking of it. Super Mario Maker. This is a Woo! game. <laughs> There's one thing. Mario Maker. Um, so this is a game that's obviously, obviously the gameplay is core Mario, and there are a few built in levels there, and especially in the DS version, which has like 100 great Nintendo made levels. But does it count if. Uh, uh, the users are providing all those levels. Is it more? Is that a game more about making or more about playing? You know, millions of levels online. I mean, you can't have one without the other. And I, I, my thing is, I probably think Super Mario Maker is a core Mario game because it satisfies most of those uh, those cri the criteria we set up at the beginning. It's has Mario in the name. It stars Mario. It's platforming. Uh, I, but I know you have like the goal idea in mind, but I, th I think that's. All implicit in finishing a level in Mario. Totally. Uh, so yeah, I think it totally satisfies <laughs> all my needs to be a core Mario game. Any disagreement up here? Or... Can we revisit your use of the word "great" pre-made levels? <laughs> in, 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 D, in the DS version, I think they are. Oh, they're yeah. Great. The Wii U the version. Wii U version, not as much. I initially disagreed, but like after all the, the standards that we set in place, so, I mean, like you know, like there there are Nintendo designed levels in the game. Uh, you can't argue against that, so it's like... But it's like, like even in know. like the making, the making, people say, okay, it's made by the community, but you're all guided through this process by Nintendo the entire way, and the tools they give you were picked by Nintendo for a certain reason, because they, they know they're going to cause you to create certain kind of levels, and in a way they are all still <laughs> Nintendo levels. Like yeah. They all just come through, even when they're at the weird Kaizo kind of stuff, it still is filtered through the intentions of Nintendo. So, like the entire the entire game, even when you are just playing the community levels, you're still playing within Nintendo's game, which is wow. totally different than something like a fan hack of Super Mario Brothers Three, like yes. brutal Super Mario World or something. <laughs> it's not no, uh, no fan <laughs> hack is a core Mario. Game. I don't think it can be a core Mario game if it doesn't have Nintendo's uh, yeah yeah design on it somewhere. We're very but my thinking right behind right Mario Maker is that like I just saw it as a successor to Mario Paint. Which I, you know, which is like Mario Paint. I think we can all agree is not core Mario, but it's. it's Who thinks Mario Paint is a core Mario game? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, Mario Paint is amazing, you know. <laughs> all right. Um. And the, the most divisive one here: Super Mario Run. You're running. You're jumping. There are platforms. There are coins. There are mushrooms. Um. But you can't stop really, except for certain situations. And you, you don't have buttons. And it's on the iPhone. Uh, does this affect your opinion as far as core? Much yes. much like uh, Nintendo's investors, I think I'd prefer to forget that Super Mario <laughs> Run exists. I think they made their money back. Yeah, they probably made their money back. I, I you know what, I, I don't particularly like Super Mario Run. I don't think it's a very interesting game. And I find the sort of halting uh, nature of the platforming in it to be it, just irritating. Like, I don't I don't find that to be enjoyable. So, get back to quality. Yeah, but I would also consider it a core Mario game. Like, I, 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 yeah, as much as Super Mario Land or Super Mario Land Two, it's it is it's a bad core Mario. Game. Yeah, I feel like if you're going to be running and jumping in a Mario game, okay, that's a platform. This is a, a runner. It's something different. We we do define it as a separate genre. Uh, no one says that runner games, Cannibal, is not a platform. It's a runner. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a runner. It's not in that that milieu. Mm -hmm. I think what what makes Mario important and what makes Super Mario Brothers one so important, and there are aspects of this in Mario Brothers, uh, the original Mario Brothers, is that you can control the physics of Mario while he's in air, right? That's what made Super Mario Brothers so revolutionary because you can control the speed while, while mid jump. It gave the 
players so much more control and agency over where Mario actually goes, where you don't have that in Mario Run, you know? Yeah, that's actually really um, it's not a bad point. So, you know, and in every Mario game that I think we talk about like has that aspect, even Paper Mario. Not, not Donkey Kong or Mario Bros. though. I've actually just been Donkey convinced. Donkey Kong 1 didn't, yeah. No, the first Donkey Kong, you can't jump and you're, you're stuck into Yeah, you're, you're, you're stuck in that animation, you're stuck in that, that yeah. Right, so, that's, so, would you, so would that affect your opinion of those games as far as? Donkey Kong, yes. Mario Brothers, maybe not, because Mario Brothers you can't control, I think. No, it's the same. I can't? I, I have, same I, it's been like 20 years. It's very, so. it's very awkward. <laughs> I'll get an, I got an emulator on my phone, let's just, let's just, just fire right. it up. I, I'm totally, you guys have just changed my mind about Super Mario Run. That doesn't well, happen, this is weird. Wow. I agree yeah. with them. Yeah. yeah. got a Delta here, folks. Have you got a Delta. up here yet on any of these things, or you're all locked, locked in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we expected. This is a deeply held beliefs uh, in the audience here. Okay, so even with a simple definition, platformer, there are edge cases. Uh, there are a few edge cases of where, where Mario is playable. Um, Super Mario Brothers 2, he's obviously a character, but you could go through the whole game, and you know, speedrunners do, without playing as Mario. You could play the whole game as Toad, and Luigi, or, or Princess Peach. Uh, does that affect, and you know, there's also all the other issues with Super Mario Brothers 2 of being an unrelated Japanese game that got uh, a Mario skin. But a lot of the enemies from Mario 2 ended up showing up in the rest of the Mario series. You know, bob and Shy Guys were first there. Um, what do you guys think about this? It's called Super Mario Brothers 2. <laughs> when you went to when you went to Toys R Us in 1989 and wanted, you were like, I need more Mario. And they would say, Here's Super Mario Brothers 2, and then you would be like, Yes, a sequel, perfect. It's it, it is in Japan though. It's called Super Mario Brothers USA. They what? eventually incorporated in there. So it's like I know people want to be the the hardcore nerd that's like actually, but it's no. Come on, back off. We know it's a Mario game. Like in Nintendo knows. They like you said, they incorporated so much of that game into future Mario canon. Shy Guys didn't exist until Super Mario Brothers 2. And you can't imagine a game without Bob Mario. Bob's. Yeah, Bob. Bob's. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's 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 it absolutely absolutely defined Mario going forward. And it's it makes sense it was made by the Mario team. It wasn't like some other weird group of people making the game and like it was like, oh we like that, put Mario on it. It was like always kind of an experiment. That they're like, maybe we could make Mario a little bit different for the next game instead of what they did with Super Mario Brothers 2 in Japan. Was the Lost Levels here a very weird, hard game? I love that game, it's trolling. But no, they, they were like, let's figure this out. We're going to go forward and make a weird Super Mario Brothers 2 in America, see how that works. And it worked out great to the point where we define it as Mario now. Yeah. Miyamoto was involved in the development too, right? Doki mm -hmm. Doki Panic. Yeah. So, like, he's got his DNA already in there. You know, and the two, Tony's point, I didn't buy Super Mario Bros. 2 at age 7 and thinking, oh, Mario spin off, great, you know? Right. Like, <laughs> I, got, I got the Mario sequel, so, you know. Alright, a quick audience poll, raise your hand if you think Mario 2 is not a core Mario game, for some reason. Ooh, whoa. Maybe, maybe we'll hear from you later at the end why you think Mario yeah. yeah. We got a lot of time at the end. Uh, New Super Luigi U, one of those weird edge cases, it's like an expansion to New Super Mario Bros. U, but you could only play as Luigi. I mean, does that, is, is the, the lack of Mario there, does that say, no, this is not a core Mario game? <laughs> no, it's, it, 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 it is an asterisk yeah. uh, alongside the many asterisks on New Super Mario Brothers U. Uh, the best Mario game, according to Polygon. The best Mario game. I mean, technically, that game was billed as an add-on to it. And the fact that it got its own standalone release is just one of those weird oddities of the, you know, moment in gaming technology that we live in. Um, you know, it's no different than saying, like, Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. Like, would you say that's a separate game? No, it's, it was a downloadable expansion that got uh, its own retail release later. I like that answer, which means I don't have to think about whether it's a core Mario game or not. Yes, we can just ignore it. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption is not a core Mario game. <laughs> <laughs> that's horseshit. Yeah. And um, we've already talked quite a bit. We've already talked quite a bit about Yoshi's Island. So we'll go back into that. But um, all the spin-offs, Yoshi's Story, Yoshi's New Island, Yoshi's Woolly World. Um, I believe in Yoshi's New Island, Mario shows up again on the back, unless I'm misremembering. Uh, new, new Yoshi's uh, Island for 3DS does have the baby. Yeah. Um, oh no, wait, no, there is no baby in New Yoshi's Island. It's we uh, can't end this. We can't, this cannot it's, be. It's Yoshi. Trying to figure out. Doesn't yeah, matter. It's, it's baby Mario. These are all. Yoshi. It's terrible. Yoshi's Island DS, which was made by Art Dink. I think most people consider these all Yoshi games. Yeah, and what Nintendo considered them Yoshi games at the beginning. The, I, I wish I had the source. I can't just sit here and pop onto Wikipedia right now. But there is a Shigeru Miyamoto interview where they said they 
they just wanted it to be called Yoshi's Island. And the Super Mario World 2 thing was thrown on at the end to sell it in America. Dan Riker, a horrible human being, who also, like... <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, tell Dan I said that. He'll be cool. Don't worry. He agrees. Um, he, uh, he'll say this all the time. He'll say, oh, well, the new Super Mario Brothers games aren't a real Mario game, but Yoshi's Island uh, is. And he asked me about at E3 once, is it a core Mario? And apparently, Shigeru Miyamoto said yes. Damn it. I mean, hopefully something was lost in translation there. We just didn't get the core answer. Right. What, what is Shigeru Miyamoto, though, really? Uh, yeah. Mario. What, <laughs> yeah, exactly. what, you get to decide. Is he on this panel? No. For a reason. Yeah. I do. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, Miyamoto can't tell us what the Zelda timeline is, so I don't know <laughs> why we're, uh, why we're uh, you Just know. wait for Hyrule yeah. Soria to <laughs> answer that. All right. So, so even with the simple definition, there's, there's stuff to argue about. Um, other, people, other people were talking about the marketing of the game. Was it positioned as one of the core Mario games? Uh, one person said, here is my rationale. I interpret core as the face of the franchise at its technological peak. This rules out all spin-offs and portable releases, and it means that marketing trumps any rigid gameplay criteria. And another one said something similar, Yoshi's Island was marketed as the latest in the Super Mario series in both USA and Japan, so it counts. Um, so Gene, I think this kind of gets into what you're thinking a little bit. It's not just the quality of the game, but whether Nintendo is positioning it as part of the central series. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, if, if, whether it's part of, like, what but would be a direct or not right now, you know? Uh, like, they're not making, they didn't make a huge announcement over 3D Land, I think. There wasn't any kind of hubbub. So they were just like, oh, here's a Mario game. Have fun with it, guys. Mm -hmm. and so it just, it didn't feel serious to them, so I didn't take it seriously, you know? Hmm. I mean, but like, Super Mario 3D Land was, okay, the 3DS was just dying on the vine mm -hmm. to the point that Nintendo had to hold a emergency investor meeting, they had to issue an apology, they had to give away Game Boy Advance games on 3DS to all the people that bought one at full price, including Yoshi's Island. Including Yoshi's Island. <laughs> and at the end of uh, uh, Satoru Iwata's GDC panel that year, he's like, and everybody pay attention, we're gonna blow your mind with the 3DS, and they made 3D Land. Like, it's a big, big, big deal. So, but then, I don't know, like, I think marketing has absolutely freaking really nothing to do with it. I think that's an absurd yeah, idea. It, it gets, it, it's really weird if you do that. Yeah, it get, because then you could say that, like, oh, well, Mario Kart is the face of the, the Mario series true, right now. True, true. Who thinks Super Mario Kart is the face of the Mario series right now? <laughs> in, in 2008 it was, you know, 2008, Mario Kart Wii was one of the best-selling things on the planet. It's true. So, um, uh, along these lines, Nintendo made a list for the 30th anniversary in uh, 2015 of uh, the Mario Portal on the Japanese site, maybe it was earlier, and um, they defined kind of what was in the core Mario game. A little bit was lost in translation, but uh, they put in, in the list was Super Mario Land and 2, the new, all the new Super Mario Brothers games, Super Mario 3D Land and World, were included on Nintendo's list, so they obviously thought something of it. Uh, Super Mario Maker was on there, Super Mario Run, which had just come out, I think, maybe I got the year wrong, was, it was on there. Out was Yoshi's Island. Yeah. Yep. They did not put it on there, so... Um, Wait, about Yoshi's Island, I, I mean, just a, like... I think the more interesting thing there, again, is uh, on the Game Boy with uh, Super Mario Land 2. Are we gonna, we're probably going to get into that a little bit. We can talk about that. Yeah, so, and so Super Mario Land 2, it kind of had Wario in it a little bit, and so it's like this, this weird transfer from Super Mario Land becoming Wario Land, where mm -hmm. it's like Super Mario Land 3, Wario. Um, and then, but, but once it starred Wario, the third one, it was called Wario Land, and it had the subtitle of Super Mario Land. But that's not a core Mario game for sure. And I think that Mike Minotti, who writes a game speed, mm -hmm. uh, he, he argued that and why Yoshi's Island isn't a, a core Mario game, because it's very similar to Wario Land, Super yeah. Mario Land 3. Totally. Um, and I'm like, okay, that was actually pretty convincing. That's what pushed me over the edge. Made, okay, maybe this isn't a core Mario game. Even if you do play as Mario for that little bit, it's like he's a power-up at that point. In, in Mario Land 2? In Yoshi's Island. Oh, in Yoshi's Island. Yeah. 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 Okay, so that's, that's Nintendo's position. But uh, again, they're not here, so we can say whatever we want. Um, a lot of people brought up this console list position that, that core games cannot be handheld. It has to be on a system that you play on the TV. Uh, Max, who we can all make fun of because he's not here. <laughs> Max sucks. It's hard for me to consider handheld titles. That's why I don't consider the new games as core. They're like remasters. He actually ex he extended this into the new games that made it onto the Wii U. 
He said these were spin-offs of a handheld game and therefore cannot be considered core games, which is a, is a very narrow argument. I that was his reasoning for 3D World too, because 3D World was the 3D, a 3D World. Yeah, 3D World, yeah, World was right. a spin-off of 3D Land, so he said no. It's hard to consider Mario. handheld. It, well, I mean, it should be stressed games. that it, it came out in his explaining this logic that he hadn't even played New Super Mario Bros. Wii and thought it was a remake of the DS game. Like, they're completely different games with completely different levels and completely different power-ups and completely different things to do. I'm gonna give that guy a witch so hard, man. Just the <laughs> biggest, gonna go down to Pittsburgh. Yeah. <laughs> I think all the panelists are fine ignoring that. Yeah, so. no <laughs> But, uh, yeah, as far as handheld games, do, you, do any of you think that there's a, there is a split there? There's a hard line between that and... The Hell no! No! no. no. I've, the, I've always found... The, the sort of uh, downplaying of the importance of handhelds to be the most arbitrary, stupid, fanboy internet thing. That's a in TV in my pocket, it doesn't count. I, know, I, I don't like the black and white screen. Shut up, man. It's all <laughs> video games. It doesn't matter. Look, look at the Switch. Yeah, the, this, the Switch finally this, breaking this, The down. Switch confuses everything, the so it's, like, it's, it's, it's a handheld. That's why Max and Gary sold the Switch's head exploded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, this one might be the favorite definition we got from a fan of the poll. It's a simple heuristic. Uh, every time they call the game Super Mario, it becomes core. One exception, Super Mario Kart, the series erased the super part after that, since they realized they were wrong. Uh, he forgot Super Mario RPG, which maybe he meant to. Maybe Super Mario RPG is a core game. It's got the super in the title. <laughs> People like that. So, what, it, is, the, is it that simple? Super Mario games are core? Other non-super games are not core? I kind of like this. I, I, I like it too, but it... Eh, I, I like the cleanliness of it, but nothing, it, no, nothing's that clean. Yeah, it also, it also requires us to trust Nintendo not to start using Super in some crazy but way. They had for 30, they over 30 plus years. Yeah. For, for a really long time, Super was just their delineation for what was a sequel well, and what was No, so they did that on the Super Nintendo, and there's yeah. just two games, Mario Kart and Mario Kart, and then since then, they've stopped. They've not put Super in the title. It's not Super Mario Party. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. It's, it's not Super Mario Kart anymore. It's just Mario Kart 64 and on. I can't remember. Except the for the new Super Mario Brothers games, where it's yeah, that has yeah. Super back in right. So. Super, Super Mario 3D Land. Yeah. Yeah. I. It's not bad. Have they been telling us all along? Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> They've just been hiding Smash it. Smash Brothers. Super. Yeah, but that doesn't have Mario in the title. It has to have Super and Mario. Yeah, I think that's, Super Paper yeah. Mario is a core game, as we discussed earlier. It so could be, yeah, it's, it's got a lot of the same characteristics. Yeah. That's why they put it in. The other Paper Mario games, not Super. That one, the Run and Jump one, <coughs> Super. It's not. Think about it. It's not. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, other people thought it was all about the gold. Right. Super Mario Strikers. Oh, right. yeah! Whoa! Thank My boy! Alright, that's all. Forget everything I just said. <laughs> that was during the Super Nintendo period when there was no, the no, that was GameCube. Game 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 Open Wii. Game 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 You're thinking of Mega Man Soccer. We all know. Oh, 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 we all I, I never stop thinking about Mega Man yeah, Soccer. Of course, yeah. <laughs> all right, so other people said it was about the goal of the game. Which essentially a core Mario game. Anything where the stage goal is to get from point A to point B and power ups are permanent until hit. Uh, this is pretty good for the 2D games, but uh, Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario Odyssey, <coughs> none of them really fit this. You, you don't keep your power-ups level to level, and uh, there's point A to many point Bs uh, in the level. You don't just end the level, really, especially in Mario Odyssey. Uh, what do you guys think? Is that too narrow? Uh, yeah, because I, this is what I was trying to get to when I was talking about the sort of discrete goals that you have in core Mario games. It's why I count Donkey Kong. Like, Donkey Kong is... You are trying to scale the stage. You want to go from the bottom of the stage to the top of the stage, or you want to get the key to the you know door that you need to unlock in Donkey Kong 94. You need to get to the flag at the end of the stage, the exit of the stage. You've got to get the star, the shine, the moon. You need to yeah. yeah you could just meander around. Mm -hmm. you, you, but like there's there are specific things that you need to do while jumping over platforms to survive. It's why I don't count Super Mario RPG. Because there is never a moment in that game where you're platforming, where you're jumping over things to achieve a very specific goal. What I like, well, there are some, but you, you, you leave, you do leave distinct levels though, and go to a world map where you enter another. That's true. Level. Yeah, that's true. What I like about these uh, definitions always is like you can tell where they remembered a certain game that doesn't fit their definition, yeah. so they add a word <laughs> where the stage goal 
is get to get from point A to point B. Because if you put stage goal, it's like, yeah, you can meander around an odyssey. So it's always your goal to be different. Or and power ups are permanent until hit. Because if you don't do that, then Donkey Kong counts. If this person clearly didn't want to count Donkey Kong. Here. So yeah, yeah, I, that's what I like about these definitions. From our 64 didn't have a power ups that had a life bar. Yeah, but yeah, the hats, but they go away. Yeah. 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 yeah, but it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't due to hit being hit though. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but that's why yeah, these things always yeah. get more complicated as you add all these qualifying remarks, and it's like, okay, now we're, we're just making it too complicated, and we're gonna forget something like Super Mario sixty four. Yeah, I feel like I feel like anything that leaves out the three D games altogether is is a little too much for me. Mm. There are a lot of people out there who are like, no, two D Mario is core. Right. Three D Mario is like a separate series that also stars Mario, but is not. The core Mario game. There, are, there are a lot of people out there who think this. Is there anyone in the audience who consider the 3D games separate? Because no, none of them raise your hand. We got white men, or what? What people in white jackets are going to come in here and they're going to take you away? <laughs> <laughs> there, they are out there. Okay. Um, I love this definition because of just the amount of detail they went. You can't read that text. If there's jumping, platforming, coin collection, stomping on enemies, bashing and breaking blocks, not just with hammers. Entering pipes, secret areas, mushrooms, stars, and flowers as bonus items or abilities, bonus stages and or mini games, multiple goals that aren't just reached the end of the level, and performed by Mario or any of the main characters in the Mario universe, then it's a core Mario game. I think this yeah. counts Sonic. The Sonic yeah. Sonic, Sonic, <laughs> Sonic Mario character? Mario and Sonic and the Olympic Games, now core Mario. <laughs> this is like that, um... This is like that St. Elsewhere chart where everything is a spin off of the St. Elsewhere chart. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Everything is a Mario game, Palm, <laughs> yeah. the original Mario game, Final Fantasy. Um, yeah, do you have to get this? If you have to get this detailed for your definition, I, I feel like what you just said, he, he was making a definition and he was like, oh, but I can't let this game in. Okay, yeah. so you have to break bash and break blocks. Oh, you can't let this game in, so there are uh, stars and flowers as bonus items. And I mean, when it gets this complicated, it is it really. Worth and is it useful? Attention. Like, what is the point? Like, why, like, why, why are we even trying to do it at this point? Like, clearly we've gone off the rails. If, like, if it's this detailed and this many uh, like faults in the logic, yeah. That's why I really like the Super Mario definition. It's, it's the shortest one that really divides things in a, a simple way. You can put it in five words. Yeah, and there are some exceptions, but like, I still think overall it has been a very good guideline when I think about it now. Yeah. And this would not count. This would count Yoshi's Island, which we've established is not. <laughs> this would probably this would probably count some of the all the Donkey Kong Country games. They would. And uh, the uh, Wario games, one of them. Super Princess Peach. Super Princess Peach. Who thinks that's a core Mario game? Oh God, yeah, I don't know. And, and, and yeah, <laughs> it's a core. It's a game. But it's it's not technically <laughs> it's a thing. It happened. It's messed up. <laughs> and it's really messed up. <laughs> you all forgot. Luigi's Mansion might be a Mario core Mario game for this. There are uh, yeah, the rocks, is there, there's block breaking. There's no jumping. There's no jumping. jumping. There's no yeah, jumping. jumping. No jumping, jumping. Is the first yeah, no jumping in, in. So that's the thing. You get this detail, and you can be like, okay, you have to go down all 12 right. attributes. Super Mario Kart would count. There's freaking jumping in Super Mario Kart. Yeah. Could you consider platforming? Could you call Yeah, because you can jump. You do jump from platforms. the track. Yeah. Bonus stages and or minigames. There are. There's battle mode. Uh, all right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, other people uh, were just kind of nihilists about the whole thing. There's no such thing as a core Mario game. A Mario game is a Mario game. There's no narrative plot timeline or 100% solid canning. Everything is a core Mario game, if you really think about it. <laughs> I, I mean, you wouldn't be at this panel if you just thought, no, everything is a Mario game. So, I that that yeah. breakfast burrito you had this morning? Mario game. Mario. Core Mario. <laughs> I'll point out that the, two, the people who left these comments uh, did fill out the poll. So they obviously thought it was worth uh, defending, and they didn't just click everything. They left out some <laughs> So, I mean... Cognitive distance is awesome. And above, I think my favorite responses were the ones that kind of went into an existential crisis. <laughs> and asked this question, I can't even do this. I can't decide in Mario what's core or not. I feel like all, but also some shouldn't be. I don't know. <laughs> This was much harder than I expected. I can't rationalize my choices. Damn it, Kyle! This is like once you get the idea in your head, you're like, where is the line? What is truth? What is beauty? What is, is, is this? Is this an answerable question? Now we need Werner Herzog on this panel <laughs> to join us. As I stared at his mustache, I realized that there was nothing in this world that was real. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now you've all been infected with the bug. You're going to be like, 
Yeah, Once sorry, guys. Yes. All day, or all month. Oh, and this one was also good. Also, realizing that I may actually count Super Mario Run as a core Mario game makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> so, we're revealing uncomfortable truths that people hadn't been acknowledged about themselves. Okay, so let's go back to that poll. We got about uh, 1,850 pe eight, 1850 people responding. And uh, what do you think was the most voted core Mario game? Just shout it out. Mario 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 Party. Mario Party. <laughs> no, Super Mario Brothers. Um, raise your hand if you don't think Super Mario Brothers is a core Mario game. Somehow, <laughs> you, better not, you better not. So there were 3.4% of people who are obviously like troll responses. Like, ha ha, no, Super Mario Brothers is a core Mario um, The other ones, these, these are the... Uh, the ones that got 80% or more, I consider these the true core, according to, uh, you know, fan voting. Mario Bros. 3, Mario World, Super Mario 64, Mario Galaxy, Galaxy 2, Mario Odyssey, Mario Sunshine, uh, Super Mario Bros. 2. I was kind of surprised how low Super Mario Bros. 2 was. It is so interesting. If 15% of people yeah. thought Super Mario Bros. was, and Super Mario Bros. 2 US was not. That's so weird. And the, the, the fact that Sunshine, the game that everybody is willing to throw under the bus all the time, beat Super Mario Bros. 2 is really interesting. Yeah, I think there might be something about the age of the respondents. In that yeah, that's were, yeah, Like, if they never had an NES yeah. growing up. Sure. Any thoughts on the stuff that appeared on this core list? Or numbers that they got? I, yeah, I, 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 Sunshine also surprised me. I, I mean, yeah, it really, I, I don't know. When I look at the list, I start thinking about everyone answering, and then I just go down this, this black well of, like, <laughs> I don't know. I can't, you go back to the existential. Yeah, I'm like, yes, exactly. I'm like, I don't understand humans. I don't know. I definitely agree Sunshine counts as four. I mean, it's, it's, I look at it as a sequel to 64, yeah. um, and you haven't had a game like Sunshine until the Odyssey, basically. You know? Max Parker uh, also thought Sunshine wasn't core, I think. Really? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. <laughs> All right, audience, raise your hand if you think any one of these games are not a core Mario game for any reason. We've got a few people over here. Okay. Maybe we can hear from you in the question and answer coming up, why you think that. Okay. After this, uh, the things have got 60 to 80 percent. This is what I call the mantle, since we're using <laughs> geology metaphors now. Um, Super Mario 3D World, Super Mario Bros. 2, the Japanese version, uh, 3D Land, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, New Super Mario Bros., New Super Mario Bros. U, New Super Mario Bros. 2. Uh, these are all games that were, you know, on the polygon list still. I'm surprised. Super Mario Bros. 2, the Japanese game, is almost exactly like Super Mario Bros. gameplay-wise. It's got harder levels, you know, but it only got 73% compared to 96% for the original Super Mario Bros. I wonder if this was a Japanese... Form, yeah, a it's, Japanese it's, language it's, form. it's an issue of familiarity. Like, yeah. it's, I, I think that there are a significant number of people who just don't know Super Mario Bros. 2 exists. Yeah, even after all this time. Even I mean, after all stars and everything. Yeah, it, it's gotten three domestic releases lifetime at this point. Uh, it's hit Virtual Console, it's been in Super Mario All-Stars, and it was in that weird Wii Mario's 25th anniversary disc. Oh, yeah. That is it. Yeah, I think what you say about... Color. What? Was it the Game Boy Color? That's true, Super Mario Bros. Oh, Deluxe. Yeah. Yes. But, um, wow. yeah, I think, I think familiarity gets into something. Yeah. It's, it's, what you consider a core Mario game is what you've played. Yeah, it's running up against people's personal canon. Is sure. it a game I grew up with? Or is it a game that I played, uh, that came out before I grew up, that I played with? You know, um, yeah, that one struck me as weird. The others, they're, they're about the right position, I'd say. If you have an expansive definition, you can include most of these. Actually, that's a great... Super Mario DX is a great call. That should be in this poll I, I, next so, time. So I left out ones that were just... Um, yeah, yeah. Remix. But I put on a remix. We'll, we'll see Super Mario 64 DS later, which is not, it has yeah. actually, actually That's new stuff. Actual. Anyway, yeah. so this is where we get into the real controversy, though, and I want, I want to show, audience, show the audience hands to see if uh, we can settle this. Super Mario Land, core Mario game or no? Raise your hand. If yes, if, raise your hand if yes. Yeah, it's about 53%. Super Mario Land 2, pretty much the same people. Uh, Super Mario 64 DS. Yeah, some people do, some people don't. It's, it's not just a remake. It's, it's, it's got uh, new stuff. And Yoshi's Island, we talked about earlier, but raise your hand again. Yeah, these are the ones that really split people. Um, Super Mario 64 DS, if you didn't play it, they added 30 new stars. You could play as Yoshi and Mario and Luigi, mm -hmm. I believe, and you could find them in secret levels. Um, but like they were like they kind of like add stuff to like Twilight Princess HD. Like they re they like revise. This, this, this added a lot. Of yeah, 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 I know. There's definitely a line there. I, I just, it's, it's, so yeah, I think and I think a lot of people didn't really really thought it was just a remake and didn't really don't really consider it for that reason. But um, 
But yeah, these are the games where no one can seem to agree where they sit on the line or not. Mm. And surprisingly, most games fit uh, with both fit on one side or the other pretty clearly. And then uh, we get to the crust. These are the games that got above 10%, but uh, below 50%. Mario Brothers, uh, New Super Mario Maker, Super Mario, Super Mario 3D Land, Wario Land, which got... You, you do not play as Mario, but it has Mario in the title, I guess. Uh, Super Mario Maker 3 DS, a little lower. Donkey Kong, Super Mario Run, and Super Mario Brothers Special. I can't, just, oh, how is Super Mario Brothers Special not for Mario? How, only 11% of people agree with you. Ah, it doesn't scroll. Yeah, it doesn't scroll. Um, I was surprised that Mario Brothers got so much more than Donkey Kong right here. They're both yeah, kind of the arcade right. games. One has Mario in the title. I guess. Yeah, I think I, they really I, had I, some I, that's probably for it. some people. And then there's the Jumpman thing, too. I mean, he wasn't even known as Mario then. So. Yeah, Jumpman, the Jumpman jump 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 thing. thing. Yeah. And, you can, and Mario Brothers, you jump pretty high, where in Donkey Kong, you jump like this, and you, if you fall down, you die, which is kind of weird. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the poll. Um, we got some people responding to the poll, uh, kind of negative about it. I think the whole concept of poor Mario is sort of a stupid one. This is no worthwhile discussion, and you should feel bad. Yeah. I, I always feel bad. Welcome. I always feel bad. Don't yes. worry. They both took the time to fill out the poll as well. <laughs> but I'll just I'll just leave it off with what I put in my story about this uh, with Ars Technica. Why the heck were you talking about this? Uh, there's definitely an element of pure popularity contest to this debate. To this debate, with games that people have played and remembered fondly more likely to fit into their own meaning of core. But plenty of respondents also got more philosophical about it and tried to come up with their more objective standard to sort the games. From the other side, some tried to come up with criteria that justified their own gut-feeling classifications more concretely. More than just a definition, though, the act of sorting games into two boxes, one labeled core and one not, is inherently a value judgment. The core games are the ones that you consider quintessential to the understanding of the franchise. They capture what makes the series so special. The debate over that kind of sorting reveals something about what we consider important and worthwhile in games, and is always sure to be more emotional than rational on some level. So, uh, thanks for coming out, and I hope you agree with that. And uh, this wasn't a complete waste of time. You had uh, some it was, fun. but I feel um, we have, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have like ten minutes for questions, comments, bitter invective. If you want to come up to the uh, microphone, all right. Uh, you can follow us online if you can't get enough of these right. pointless debates. Thank you. you guys, what's going on? Woo! Oh, look at all I thought they were leaving, not asking a question. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Alright, so I noticed there was an oversight during the panel. There was one game that was not mentioned. Okay. And I think it bears a quick discussion. Donkey Kong Jr. is the only game in the entire series that features Mario as the antagonist. Yeah. It involves platforming, it involves jumping. Mario is, as a character is on screen the entire time, but not once you play as him. So, so my question is, is, is Donkey Kong Jr. a core Mario game? Uh, no. show, show of hands, audience, Donkey Kong Jr.? So two, you got two supporters. Uh, this, one, this one, yeah, Donkey Kong Jr. falls into the, the same shadow realm as Yoshi's Island, I think. <laughs> like, they, they exist in the same nebulous state. I do, I mean, I like Donkey Kong Jr. It's the only... Mario game where you get to play as somebody in their underpants, which is <laughs> important. Yeah, uh, uh, Odyssey. 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 Oh, Odyssey. Game. But yeah, I would say if I was telling people you have to play all of these Mario games, I would not include Donkey Kong Jr. Yeah. Or yep. Donkey Kong Jr. Math. Donkey Kong Jr. Math. <laughs> Mario's not included. Right. All right, so we got more people. Awesome. Thank Fair you. enough. So okay. I'm one that, that is thoroughly in the belief that um, a core Mario game would fall into something that where it sort of influences the gaming culture in more of a heavier way. Mm -hmm. And so I sort of look back and say, would I have bought this game if Mario or a Mario Universe character wasn't a, wasn't a signature of the game? So something like, wow, Paper Mario may not be like your normal kind of platformer as you would talk about just like uh, in Mario, in like Mario Bros, Super Mario Brothers or something like that. I still consider that core because I wouldn't have bought anything that was marketed like that without Mario as being part of it. So that's sort of where I stand. I don't know if would I, you say like Super Mario Kart or Mario Party? Yeah, like I I can't say. I mean, it's hard. Now you start to get to a discussion of if Mario didn't exist, what the hell would I play? <laughs> <laughs> what would Mario Kart be without Mario? That's right. Right. But it. With what we, what I know to this day and age, I wouldn't have bought 
Super Mario Kart wouldn't have bought Mario six, Mario Kart sixty four if Mario wasn't a big part of it. And mm. so that that's where that's where I stand, and I, I'm not sure where you guys where exactly where you stand, but uh, I know like, I know especially since Paper Mario was glossed over so shortly, I really think that those are quite core as well. It's, right. Yeah, it's an interesting perspective. I like I I, I think that. Then you just sort of get into the question of, you know, I, I feel I feel like that's a maximalist all game starring Mario or Mario game, core Mario games then. Or if, if you like them. Or yeah, or if you like Mario. Right. Yeah. 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 Alright, thank you. I'm kind of with him, where it's like, I, I feel like like the, the Mario games moved the needle. Uh, so I, I, I totally feel you, man. I think we do, I think we decided that that was like part of like what people were deciding yeah. when they were giving us their answers. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it helps with the core definition though. Yeah, I like having a definition that you don't have, doesn't involve your personal feelings. But yeah, people yeah that's fine if other people do, of course. Hi, Hi guys. Um, I'm going to preface this by saying I'm one of the few people that don't think Super Mario Brothers 2 US is a core Mario game. So... You're brave. I, 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 offer, be wrong. I offer part of my formula to this. To me, it has to have the primary rival. If Mario, if the end boss isn't Bowser, to me it's not a Mario game. So what are your thoughts about that? It's interesting. If you, if you face off against Bowser, it's a core Mario game. If you face off against Wart, it's not. Or if you face off against uh, Wario, Chulex, yeah, it's, uh, Super it's Smithy. Yeah. Wow. So you wouldn't consider, you wouldn't that's, consider that's almost like the Super Mario definition. I like that. Yeah, go ahead. The, the end was a dream. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Game because it was a dream. That's well, a new one. I've well, not heard anyone say that. Then you wouldn't consider Majora's Mask a core Zelda game because you don't like it. We're not that. getting a core Zelda oh, game. Oh, you're not out of time. Welcome to our next panel. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. We'll 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 Lots of yours. Very Jerusalem. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I like that. It's, it's very simple and kind of uh, divide the game uh, simply. I think. Um, Why are you hating on Ward? Ward's fine. My only thing would be like the, Mar the Mario and Luigi games have Bowser as the antagonist of them. So would those just get in? I mean, not everything has exceptions. But yeah, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. What about something like this, where you find the line between where Mario is the central theme and war character versus Mario is the brand in things like Mario RPG, Paper Mario. Yeah, it's not a platforming, but look at a game like Fallout. The first two games are an isometric turn-based shooter versus what we have today, but it's still part of the same can. So I think Paper Mario, I think things like that would work. I think Donkey Kong doesn't fit only because I think that fits more into Donkey Kong's canon. Hmm. It'd be like where, where we have uh, Boyerlet. Yeah, you've got the Mario brand slapped onto it. But I think it's more if Warrior didn't turn into his own thing, or like Yoshi Island, because they turned into their own franchises, they kind of don't need Mario anymore. Like Luigi's Mansion, where... Luigi now becomes his own entity outside of Mario. Yeah, it's the same universe, but now they're their own characters, so they don't need to hide in this umbrella of core Mario game. I think a core Mario game should fit a handful of criteria. Do you care that it's actually Mario, if or as opposed to, you know, Nintendo slapped his name on because of course you buy it, it's Mario. And does it progress in some way the, either the storytelling aspect, so things like Thousand Year Door does an excellent job expanding our understanding of the Mario universe. This is just all right. All right. We've, we've got other people to come up, but um, I think I I, 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 I I like your point about does this feel like a game where Mario was just slapped on versus a game where they, they built around Mario? That's that is a feeling, but you can kind of get that feeling from when you play the game, right? Yeah. Um, I, 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 I mean, like when you're developing a game, like what, as soon as you do slap Mario on there, that begins to inform design that happens after that point. Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 yeah, I mean, it's kind of impossible to like not think about what Mario is once you start doing anything with that character. So, uh, and you know, it's like maybe there are games where they slap Mario on, like we do say, like Super Mario Brothers Two uh, in the U.S. was it felt like slapped on to Doki Doki Panic. Um, but it's still a significantly different game than Doki Doki Panic. Yeah, yeah, no, know, like, yes, exactly. Like, like, but, but like. Once you slap it on, it's like, okay, but still, though, there's something here where I'm like, I am now defining it through Mario, so, yeah. I just want to mention Kingdom Battle, of course, because Mario, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle didn't feel snapped on. Like, they designed it around Mario the aesthetic. Uh, yeah. and, 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 that did not make uh, more than 10% in our poll. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think the, this is definitely a question of gameplay and focus, mm. because... Uh, Super Mario, the first Super Mario Brothers, 
the real focus of this game was Mario's jump. Mm -hmm. And it was really the mechanic and not really Mario. If it was a different character, then we'd call it a different game, but it would be the same game. I don't think a core Mario game meets Mario or Bowser or any of these characters or the Mushroom Kingdom or any of that. I think it's definitely just what's the focus of the game. And we can determine what's a core Mario game uh, if we ask, uh, ask ourselves, well, what is, what, is the, what is the purpose of this game? What's the core mechanic? And you say, that, jump, and you say jumping is that mechanic? I would say so. All right, so is Donkey Kong Country? That's the thing, because it's a question not really of the mechanic, but the focus on the mechanic. Mm. The focus of Super Mario Brothers was on the jumping mechanic, but in Donkey Kong, there's a much bigger focus on exploration, on secrets, on stuff like that. The jump doesn't play as big of a role as in Super Mario Brothers. So you can say that uh, the 3D land and world games there's a core Mario game. Luigi's Mansion, not a core Mario game because. Love C3D, core Mario game. Core Mario game. Yeah, no, but again, it's a tough, it's a tough dividing line to figure out where that focus is. But that's that's a valid. I appreciate the philosophy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's something here. Thank you. Awesome. I like the hat. Yeah, the hat's awesome. Good. Hi, um, just a quick, com uh, quick comment. I will always defend Yoshi's Island as a core game because it is an origin story. And <laughs> right? It is. I like that. Origin <laughs> stories are canon. They are core games. You want to know how Mario started. That's true. We didn't really get into storyline. That's like, it is an origin story. Because storyline in the Mario universe is so ridiculous. It's actually lunch at some point today. It like, can't be here forever. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I, I like that. I want Yoshi's Island again, so I'll take it. Um, and in my question also, this is, um, it's, it's more sort of a question of like sort of game quality factoring into the core argument. Would you get any of the games that you listed as both core or at least mantle, would you say any of those games, even though they may have advanced the, you know, technology, advanced the storyline, are considered bad Mario games? And are there any non-core games that you would consider still very good? Yeah. I mean, like New Super Mario Bros. 2, I would call a core Mario game. And I would also say it's pretty bad. Awful. It's, pretty, it's not play. awful. That's pretty much the only one in my definition. I don't care for 3D Land. I, I mean, like, I'm not saying it's bad. I think it's well made. I just think it's boring. The, the, the structure is, is awful. Man. Yeah. I don't have to get into that. But yeah, yeah you're right. I don't like any of them, so. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like any Mario games? I don't like 3D Land or, or Mario Bros. 2. Thank you. He's never played Mario games. Gene, Gene's an arrow the acrobat. Kind of oh my god, no, the Rocket Knight. Yes, <laughs> Rocket Knight. Oh, so my question is mostly on the um, progression of the game. Would a possible qualifier be something along the lines of you go through the world, beat individual levels, get to the boss, mini boss, beat them? The princess isn't there, she's in another castle, and then you go to another world? Mm -hmm. That'd be impossible. Well, the princess oh, being there is, is kind of specific. Um, well, but, then, like, it's, it's definition in general. We, we, get, yeah. we get what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think that, no. Because you're, you're boxing in it too much, and I think clearly, like, you're, I mean, yeah, you kind of maybe do some of that stuff in the 3D games, but it does feel very much like, no, you're not just like going through this, this world and going to the next one. You're kind of repeating it, looking for different stars, looking for different uh, objectives, and I wouldn't want to exclude the 3D games. Maybe you would, I, I don't know. All right, um, I'm sorry, I think that's the last question we have time for. Um, we'll be around outside and kick us out, but thanks again for coming. And thanks, guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching, everyone.